I wanted to dive deeper in the idea of responsibility. And the reason I want to do that is because nothing in your life changes unless you're actually willing to take 100% accountability for your life. Now, the confronting part of this and the reason we don't necessarily fully own that is because if I move towards everything in my life is here because I said yes to it, then that means I have to be with the cognitive dissonance, which is the pain of knowing something is true. I have to be with the dissonance of the reality that if it's in my life and I chose it, then that means I chose it. So I, ch I am choosing something that's not good for me. That's the kind of reality we actually need to get to because it's through getting to those types of realities that we can then change because you can't change something you don't acknowledge. We have to get right with reality. We have to. We have to actually be with the truth. And I remember as a kid, my dad said to me that a very small percentage of the population can actually do an accurate audit of their own lives. And I would say it's even hard, even if you're self-aware, because it's through the experiences you have relationally, the frictions you have, that you actually do discover the things you cannot see. It is relationships that shine the spotlight on the things that aren't yet healed, on the reactions we have, the fears we have. So when we push away relationship, we push away learning. But when we're actually ready to say, I take full responsibility for my life and I'm ready to rock, I'm ready to do this, then we wake up to conscious choice and that's when our life becomes a playground. And it also, we become responsible for saying no to things. Now, if you don't have access to a full no, because you're afraid to hurt people's feelings, you're afraid to, to upset someone, you're afraid that the group of friends you have will be upset with you, right? All these are forms of codependence. They're all forms of putting other people's experiences and emotions ahead of your own. Now, often we'll say, well, I don't trust that they can hold it. I don't trust that they can handle the truth. So then now I'm saying to someone unconsciously, I'm creating the relationship dynamic where I don't trust them. So then, of course, there's going to be a reaction from that person, right? Because they're sensing on a deeper level, you're hiding information to quote unquote protect them. How noble of you. And I'm saying that sarcastically. It's not noble. But it is through the recognition that we do these types of things. When I don't share information that could cause someone to react, I don't give them the opportunity to learn how to hold the information. So I keep perpetuating the story and then I blame them that I can't share it when I'm the one creating the dynamic, when it's really me who's afraid. Now, this level of responsibility is one of the core principles of our book, Liberated Love, that Kylie and I wrote together. And I wanted to share an excerpt on radical responsibility because it's necessary for every area of your life if you want to be an autonomous, healthy adult. Responsibility comes from the Latin word for response. Yes. This means our actions are our direct response to what life is asking us. The irony? We rarely take time to assess where our lives are headed. Sure, this is partially due to how busy, overwhelming, and stressful life can be, but it's also because we don't always want to know. When we look at the future we're creating, it might not be where we want to end up. Instead of taking the steering wheel of our life, it's easier to bury our heads in the sand and blame and trust fate to either bring us where we want to go or somehow save us when we get there. But this only works until it doesn't. So we'll explicitly ask you, where do you want to be in 20 years, in 10 years, in one year? If you let your life continue to direct itself and everything stayed the same as it is today, where are you likely to end up? Would you be okay with that? Pause for a second. Take a deep breath. Okay. Now imagine if you decided today to shift your life and align with your power and your deepest calling. Where could you be? How would that feel to declare and to hold? This recognition of what is currently true may be heavy, but it is also incredibly liberating. Why? Because you no longer get to be the spectator watching your journey. You have the right to be happy. You have the right to be fulfilled. You're allowed to prioritize and choose yourself. Shocking, isn't it? What do you need and what step can you take right now to access more empowered choices in your life? What needs to end? What needs to begin? What would you feel like if you stood in the truth of these answers and decided to claim the potential you're leaving on the table, not just for your relationships, 
but also for your life. To step into the fullness of ourselves and our lives requires immense courage. It requires a willingness to make our way into the unknown. Due to our family patterns, the masks we wear, and our adaptive strategies, we're wrapped in the patterns that insulate us from feeling our pain and the power of presence and choice. You can't live a full life and love with your whole heart if you are not fully here. Changing established patterns and removing masks is far from easy. You might wonder, why is it so hard to use your voice? Why is it so challenging and paralyzing to lay a boundary for the first time? Why it feels almost impossible to say goodbye to that friends with benefits or whatever type of relating that is not in service of your deepest desires? Why does all of this sometimes feel so difficult? Why does the body seem to feel stuck? Or why does our voice just not work when we need it most? Did you know that regularly incorporating heat into your routine, like using a sauna, has amazing health advantages? Studies have linked the benefits to cardiovascular health, immunity boosts, and even easing depression. While I don't always have time to make it to a sauna or a spa, something that has helped me still obtain this health goal right in the comfort of my own home is the infrared sauna blanket from Bond Charge. What I love about this blanket is how it offers all the benefits of a sauna, like stress relief, detoxifying the body, and burning calories, without the heat getting to my head like I sometimes feel in a traditional sauna. Made of vegan leather, this blanket kicks your heart rate into gear like you're in a workout, burning up to 600 calories in one session. And setup is such a breeze. In less than a minute, you can just have it set up. It heats up super fast. And with my busy schedule, its ease of use is huge. I can use it around my work day to help me unwind, de-stress, and keep healthy no matter how stacked my calendar may be. If you're looking to add some relaxation with health benefits to your routine, check out the infrared sauna blanket from Bond Charge. Your body and sanity will thank you. Oh, and did I mention that our podcast listeners get free shipping on any of their infrared sauna blankets purchased? That's right. So you can go to bondcharge.com slash markgroves and use the code markgroves to save 15%. That's bondcharge.com slash markgroves and use the coupon code markgroves to save 15%. Look, if you're changing a relationship pattern, you are likely changing generations of established behaviors. It is in your relational DNA. It's woven into the fabric of how your family system operates. And often, our cultures and religions have only reinforced our mass and roles. There's a lot of momentum moving us in the direction opposite of liberation. There's a lot of perceived and historically validated safety, think about it as certainty, in continuing to choose the same things. You're going to ruffle feathers. You're going to face resistance. And that resistance will come from within as well as from those you're in relationship with. Now really feel into this. When you break up with who you've been, you're healing your lineage. Think about how powerful that is, that you're being trusted with the material that your family couldn't handle, that it kept passing down without self-reflection and without changing. You're changing your family tree. You're altering your destiny. You're healing your stuff so your kids don't get handed the baggage you got handed. And if you've already handed some baggage down, have no fear. It's never too late to heal and take your baggage back and turn it into deeper trust and connection. Yep, this is what radical responsibility looks like. Taking ownership for your side of the street. Radical responsibility means claiming our truth, telling the truth, and being willing to disappoint others. Who, when, and how much do we disclose? This all comes down to discernment. What is appropriate will depend on the specific dynamic and intention you hold. To quote, tell the truth, we need to check in with ourselves and ask what conversations we have been avoiding and why we are avoiding them. Living a life where we are free from lies in whatever capacity is a liberating one. Discernment is learned one conversation at a time. Responsibility also requires growing up. To cross the developmental threshold from adolescence to adulthood requires us to move out of the traps that blame, shame, and guilt keep us stuck in. These blind spots are like anvils that weigh us down and hold us back from stepping into integrity. The old story that dies as we break up with mediocrity is that we're not worthy of more, that we're not worthy of love, and that our self-worth depends on if people love and approve of us. Instead, ask yourself, do I love and approve of myself? Do I like my choices? Do I actually like who I'm being? Am I living my life in alignment with my values? 
Ask yourself these questions daily. Pin them to your wall. These are the check-in questions to determine if you are consistently showing up for yourself, acting in alignment, and taking radical responsibility for your life and your choices. Remember, if you don't love your choices, you won't love yourself. If your life is misaligned with your values, you won't value yourself. It is you who must say, enough. No longer will I stand for this. No longer will I allow myself to play small. No longer will I blame others for why I don't get to have the life and love I want. This is an excerpt from our book, Liberated Love. Release codependent patterns and create the love you desire. Go to createthelove.com slash liberated love to pre-order your copy or get it wherever you buy your books. We can't wait for you to get it in your hands because this is the kind of potency that it has. It'll help guide you to change your life one relationship at a time, but especially the one with you. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss all the juicy episodes that are coming. We're in the vibe. Liberation is the intention and we're going to create it.